Hey guys, I wanted to put up a video showing how the 450ml boiler on this machine works so well to steam milk. As I've said in previous videos, I am not a hot coffee drinker. I just prefer iced lattes. I live in a relatively hot climate and that's my preference. But this is how it gets started. So I've put the main switch into setting one and I have pushed the brew switch on and opened up the steam valve to let some water out. At that point, you turn the steam knob back off and you let the brew water come out for a little bit longer. Now, what I've added in recently is actually to turn on the hot water switch, which you can see there. So the steam knob is off. I've turned the hot water switch on and just make sure that the boiler is filled. Now I push it over to the main sit switch setting to, to start heating up that boiler. So here you can see that's the water that's come out of the steam wand. Now I've come back. The machine is hot. And I have just switched the steam um, switch on to make sure that the water heats up. I'd actually had it switched on earlier, so it was ready to go. I'm actually going in with some Bonsoir soy milk here. I'm not a dairy drinker. I turn it on full blast and it's really quite powerful. I don't know how to steam milk very well, so this is absolutely not supposed to be an instructional video. I don't have hot drinks unless I'm making them for someone else. I just wanted to show how powerful this machine was if steaming milk was for you. So as you can see here, it all happens very quickly. It's very warm at this point. And time to turn it off. I went the wrong way initially, but we got there in the end. It's really light and fluffy and really beautiful milk, even on soy milk. Then just for the last bit for the cleanup process, just have a wet cloth. I just had a tea towel, that's all I had. Make sure you spray some out, give it a good clean. And then I go back in for another quick spray out. You can see the power in this machine. So I just want to show you guys that.